well. So I realised today it's been quite a while since I did a haul video, or it feels like quite a while anyway. I definitely haven't done one this year, so I thought that I would kind of compile everything that I've got in the last couple of months or so and show you guys in a haul video. So let's get going. Sorry if I sound a bit croaky and a bit weird today. Um, I feel like I'm getting a bit of cold, so that is why. Anyway, let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to start with some makeup bits. Now, the first product that I have bought recently is definitely, definitely because of Victoria from In The Fro. Um, I've been watching all of her makeup kind of tutorials and get ready with me videos, and she uses this thing, and I just figured that I needed one in my life. So this is the Real Technique sponge. Now, sponges are something that I have never, ever been interested in. Didn't think they were any good but actually they're brilliant sorry this I have actually used this this morning so it needs a bit of a wash it's really really good for like rubbing concealer under your eyes I always find that under my eyes I kind of find it quite difficult to cover um, and to keep covered all day and to make it look kind of fresh but without being too clumpy even though I need quite a lot of concealer on there and basically all you do with this is pop on a bit of concealer under your eyes and just dab it in and it kind of gives it a really nice flawless um, effect. I also use it around my nose just to get in the corners there because if you're rubbing with your fingers or even a brush it kind of doesn't cover everything there. Um, it's also really good if you have some kind of blemishes you want to cover as well. So definitely, definitely, if you haven't tried a sponge or you're in need of a sponge, try this Real Techniques one. I think this was about 7 to £10 pounds ish, which seems a lot of money for a sponge, but actually, coming from someone that never believed in sponges, I find this quite a good deal. So um, definitely look at those if you get a chance. Next product, makeup wise, it's also from Real Techniques and it is one of the new brushes that come out. See, Real Techniques is run by Pixie Woo, who have a YouTube channel. And I find YouTube kind of, people that bring out collections know what they're talking about. They're in the industry, they know what they want and they bring out these amazing things and they all do really well. So I decided to pick up this brush. I've got loads of Real Techniques brush already but I wanted this one from the new collection. I think this is the eyeshadow brush. I can't actually remember because I've thrown the packaging away and it doesn't actually say on here. Oh, it's brush 200, so it has a number instead. But I really love the packaging or the, the style of the brush itself. It's just really cool and really sleek and kind of looks like a kind of bullet shape. And the brush itself is also brilliant. I use this with my eyeshadow and I find it especially great just to get into the corners and the um, outer corners of your eyes just to like put some dark through there as well. So I'm definitely loving this and I also have used this for concealer as well. So it's kind of one of those ones that like multi-purpose and um, which again, when you're paying kind of £15 for a brush, you kind of want to be able to use it for a few different things. So I definitely think this is a good value brush. The next up, I have some jewellery pieces. Now I have this amazing, amazing watch from Movement Watches. And um, this is a company I found on Facebook recently, I think. Um, their little advert kept coming up. And um, yeah, the watches on there are just amazing. They are a lot bigger than your average watch. Um, this is actually a men's one anyway, so hence the size of it. But I actually quite like a big watch now and then. So I definitely kind of need this kind of style in my collection and I'm definitely loving this. So I'll do a close up of it here, but as you can see, it's got this massive face on it. It's got the blue like movement logo and the second hand. And it's also got the date and things and it's really simple. Um, really nice to wear and as you can see it's kind of fills up your whole kind of fills up your whole wrist but I just really think for the price these watches are such a brilliant brilliant quality I think roughly this translates into about 60 70 pound even less maybe um, so yeah so I'm loving these watches and I definitely think that I'll be picking up some more of these and um, they have some really nice colors and stuff on the website as well so as a Daniel Wellington convert I'm definitely liking this Next I picked up some little ear cuffs from River Island, now these were only £3 and I've been after this kind of ear cuff for ages and ages. Um, I really like that kind of really simple kind of metal look around my ear. I've got these two hoops here already but I kind of wanted something a little bit more of a cuff I guess and this is why I picked these up. Um, I would have preferred these in silver but they only had gold so I picked these up anyway. But um, yeah, I just think these were really, really nice with my hair up, kind of a statement earpiece if you like. So I'm really liking those. So another piece of jewellery that I received this week is this amazing ring from Gemporia.com. 
and I cannot, I cannot explain how much I love this. It's definitely up my street, it's my kind of style, it's silver and has this kind of front face of just black gems. It's also got this kind of wavy effect to it which I really like and um, it just fits really nicely on my finger. Um, it's definitely a statement piece but it's not too over the top. I think it's quite girly still so you could definitely wear this on a night out and you know during the day it's kind of one of those rings that you can just pop on and it kind of makes an outfit so I'm absolutely loving this and as you can see from the close-up it's just so so pretty. Um, it's really sparkly as well. It's really hard to photograph actually because it doesn't do it justice so hopefully on video it will do but I'm absolutely loving this. I'm going to keep it on now for the video because it goes with my outfit today. So next up I have some kind of other random things. I think this is kind of a random haul really. Um, I'm going to start off with these trainers from Adidas. These are from the Stella Sport collection which is a new collection for Spring Summer 15 and um, this is designed um, with Adidas by Stella McCartney. So as you can imagine it has kind of a fashion twist to it. Um, it's definitely very fun pieces. Um, I visited the showroom last week and um, I can definitely say that the collection is bright and fun. Um, I like the way that all the pieces can be mixed together. Um, it's all about clashing colours and patterns really so that's kind of nice. It's definitely good for like gym wear if you go to the gym or if you go running and all the pieces have kind of you know built in things so if you're going to go running the leggings are perfect for that. These trainers are running trainers, so they're like built to your foot. And basically it's just all really thought about, which I kind of like, um, and I think it's definitely good if you're visiting the gym and so on. So I'm gonna show you these trainers. The trainers are definitely very bright too. So these are the trainers themselves. As you can see, they are the brightest things ever. But I kind of like that. I kind of like how fun and kind of, you know, just fun they are. And you don't wanna have boring trainers all the time. So these are the sides. And as you can see, and um, yeah, I'm just loving these. And they're so light. I haven't actually worn them yet, but I'm so excited to kind of wear these and even go running in them. They actually feel like there's nothing in my hands. They're so light. So I definitely think these will be a brilliant, brilliant kind of running shoe or gym shoe. Maybe I should uh, start up the gym again. Who knows? <laughs> but um, yeah, how cool are these? I love them. Another piece from the range is this jacket as well. Um, and again, very bright, very fun, very colourful, and as you can see, it is very bright. Um, it's very kind of like bomber jacket, which obviously is very big, always has been very big, and will carry on being very big. And it has this kind of like stripy detailing around the neck and around the cuff. Um, it's white and red, and on the back it has this kind of like silky material, which kind of does look a bit like leather, like a leather effect, which again, brilliant, loving that. So. Definitely like this, um, this is a medium as well, so they look like they come up quite small. But it's a really like thick material, and I can imagine it's quite warm, but still, you could probably go running in it. It's kind of that built-in material, so I'm really loving that. Next up, I have a, another kind of swimwear, kind of gym thing. Um, well, actually, I wouldn't wear this to the gym at all, so I don't know why I said that, but it is a swimming costume, and it is this one from Topshop. Um, you can't really see it very well on there, because it's black, but it has this kind of, um, it has this scalloped kind of edging around the top bit and then this massive kind of cut out at the back. So basically it's a bikini at the back and a swimming costume from the front which I'm really liking. Um, I'm actually, well actually by the time this video is up I would actually be there. Weekend I'm going on like a little weekend away with my boyfriend for his birthday and we're staying in a cottage on a farm that has a hot tub. So I thought I needed a swimming costume. I haven't actually ever owned a swimming costume in my life, well apart from when I was like 12. but. In my older years, I don't own a swimming costume, so I thought it was time that I picked one up. Hopefully this will fit, because I haven't actually tried it on yet, but I just really like this kind of edging around the um, chest bit. I just think it's really, really pretty, and I like the fact that there's nothing at the back as well, so that is definitely a nice little purchase from Topshop. Next up, I have a bag, which I am absolutely loving, and it is this bag, which is actually like a backpack, so it has the two straps at the back, you could obviously wear this as a handbag, sometimes with backpacks I just wear them like this over my shoulder so I don't actually always wear them as a backpack. But basically I find these bags so helpful and um, when I went on holiday in Cornwall recently I wore a backpack the whole time. Um, obviously if you're going on them kind of holidays where you do a lot of walking you still need your bag and you still need your phone and your purse but having a bag over your shoulder all day just gets on your nerves and having something like this is definitely a lot easier. Um, I can imagine this for London is really easy as well. Obviously you have to be a bit careful on the tube and things, but you know, backpacks are the way forward in my opinion. It's from nika.co.uk. 
and I believe this is about £49. The quality of it is just brilliant. Um, it's got the gold detailing and this little kind of, just take this off, this little kind of gold bow on the front. And it's just a really cute kind of like, almost like preppy handbag. It's got this little handle as well, so you can wear it when you're like, don't want to wear it on your back, you can kind of hold it. And yeah, I'm just really loving this. Um, inside it's got some really pretty lining and like little pockets and things and a zip area. And um, yeah, I'm just really liking this bag. And like I said, I'm just absolutely loving backpacks at the moment. So I'm pretty sure I would get loads of wear out of this. I also recently got sent this Aragon oil from Morocco, Nourishing Miracle Oil. And I haven't actually used this yet, but I'm kind of intrigued to kind of use oils. As my hair's got a lot longer recently, and obviously it's on braid on the end, so it does get quite dry, I have been popping a bit of oil on here and there. I was always a little bit sceptical, just because, I don't know, I feel like oil is like a greasy substance, and why do I want to put greasy substances on my hair? Um, it's already greasy enough without having to do that. But, on the ends, when it's a little bit longer, it definitely does help a little bit. So, I'm excited to try this one. Um, I don't know if it's, I mentioned, but it's by Lee Stafford, so... It's just basically a Moroccan oil and you just put this on the ends and it keeps your hair nice and shiny and healthy and kind of just helps to put a bit of moisture back in. Um, sometimes when I curl my hair I do like scrunch a bit in on the ends just to kind of make the curls a little bit kind of more natural looking and a little bit more shine back in. So um, that is definitely one to watch out for and I will, if I get on with it I'll probably use it in a tutorial or something soon so you'll see that coming up. Next up I have the most amazing dress ever. This is from Fashion Pills and I literally, I so wish I had this over Christmas because I would have got so much wear out of it. But it is this lacy little number and as you can see it's lacy with cut out kind of detailing and panels over your girly area because you don't want to be showing off your boobs to everyone. And then it has like another panel for the skirt so it's basically a really nice kind of cut out dress and it's so pretty. Um, the bottom has this kind of lace detailing as well and um, I know you can't really see it very well on the camera but I will be um, obviously photographing this for my blog tinytwist.com very soon so keep an eye on there and you can see how I style that as well but um, I'm just really really loving this dress, it's such a classic piece and I think with a nice big heel, a red lipstick and kind of flicky eyeliner that's all you need, it's, it speaks for itself really so with a little clutch bag and things I definitely think this dress is one to wear for the evening. I'm excited to kind of have like a night out or a party or something so I can wear this soon. Next up I have some of my favourite purchases from H&M. Now you guys know that I absolutely love H&M. H&M is my heavenly place in the shopping world so I picked up these two pieces recently. Both shirts which is quite weird for me because I'm not really a shirt person so I don't really know why I picked these up but I have wore them so I must like them. The first one is this shirt and as you can see, I have put it back in my wardrobe without doing the buttons up, which is totally, totally me. And I think this was about either $7.99 or $12.99, so pretty cheap. Um, it's quite long as well, so you could wear this with leggings. And I just love how this looks with a little vest top, leggings and a red lip. It's just kind of really classic and I kind of like that kind of boyfriend shirt look. So I got it in a bit of an oversized size. And um, yeah, I just really like that. I like the rolled up sleeves. And I just really like this kind of checked pattern, it's not too over the top. And again, I just think with a pair of jeans or a pair of leggings with some boots, it's a really nice kind of casual daytime look. And next up from H&M is something that I've been looking for for absolutely ages and I thought I'd just go for it. And it is a denim shirt. Now, denim shirts are classic pieces. I think everyone in the world needs to own a denim shirt. So I picked up this one. And again, it's undone, but when it's done up, you can't actually see the buttons. It's, so it's more of like a smock top. I don't know if you can see that really, I should just do the buttons up, but I'm being lazy. And um, it's got two, two pockets on the front, and like I said, it's kind of a smock top when it's done up, so it's quite girly, um, and it's kind of the nicest denim shirt I've seen in a while. It has like a nice soft kind of linen feel to it, so it's not really denim, it's not that kind of hard feeling that denim can sometimes have. Um, and yeah, I just really like this, I thought it was a classic piece. And again, I can even wear this, even wear this done up, um, with some black jeans or wear it over a kind of vest top or a t-shirt underneath so I like that kind of casual look that it has so definitely loving the denim this year and I think that was about £15 maybe I had a £5 voucher though so it was a bit cheaper which is always good the next up I have a few more kind of random products the first one I bought mostly for the colour I'm going to admit which you shouldn't really do but I did it and it is this Tangle Teaser. Now I do already own a Tangle Teaser, in fact I own two already so now I've got three. 
but I used them so much that the old one I had was really worn and I just really needed a new one. Um, I think it's a lot healthier just to go on and buy a new one every now and then. So this one I picked up because it is a lilac on the front and baby pink on the inside. So this way it is both colours and I just really like the colour of this, I'm going to be honest. I like how girly it is and I just makes me happy whenever I brush my hair with it. Um, if you don't own a Tangle Teaser then you should do and you need to go to Boots and get yourself one. So next up I have some amazing amazing sunglasses. These are from sunglassesshop.com which of course I will link below as always and they are by Stella McCartney. We've got a bit of a Stella McCartney theme going on in this haul but I promise you these are not Adidas. Um, so yeah, these are by Stella McCartney and they are the most retro sunglasses ever. Now this is the little case that they come in which I'm, I'm loving the glasses case I've got to admit. And these are the glasses themselves. And as you can see, I'll put a little close-up in. And as you can see, they are just the most gorgeous colour. They're kind of like a, off, a brownie pink colour, light and dark. And the sides are so, they're just so retro looking and so kind of vintage looking. And I just really love how these look on as well. And I'm definitely ready for summer now. I'm definitely ready for summer. Come on, summer, come at me. But I just loved how kind of nice they were and how different they are. I haven't seen anything like this on the high street even. So I'm definitely looking forward to summer to wearing these. Next up, I have quite a fun little thing actually. This is by, um, this is by the Cutlery Commission. And they basically do personalised cutlery. So I have been sent this spoon which you can't actually see at the moment because it's got a big lump of chocolate on the end, which I'm going to eat after this. Basically, with this spoon, you stir it into some hot milk and it makes you a hot chocolate at the same time as revealing what's written on the spoon. So on this one, I believe it says Tiny Twist, um, which I'm loving. And I've just noticed on the packaging, it has Tiny Tiny Spoon. So cute. But yeah, obviously I haven't made my drink yet, so you can't actually see the tiny twist. But again, I'll post this to my Instagram so you can see what the tiny twist looks like on it. Um, and that's tiny twist, so just follow me over there and you can see. Um, I'm actually really excited to like have a spoon with tiny twist written on. I don't know why, it's just like one of those things that, you know, gets you excited that it really shouldn't. And um, yeah, and good news, the chocolate doesn't contain wheat, so I can actually eat this. So I'm really excited to eat this. Oh, um, I just love personalised gifts like this and this would be great, 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 great present for Valentine's Day so definitely get your ideas in there. Next up is a repurchase of mine. Now if you read my blog you would have noticed these boots because I wear them so often and I literally wear them every day in my day to day life so they're definitely a pair of boots that I needed to rebuy. And um, basically, these are from Misguided. I sent them ages ago full price, and I noticed they went down in the sale recently. So I just thought, you know what? I'm going to buy myself a pair because if I can never get them again and I ruin the ones I've got, I'll be devastated. And these are the boots. And as you can see, they have this kind of effect at the side a little bit of elastic and a little bit of a heel and they're so classic and literally the best pair of boots ever because they're so wide jeans fit in leggings fit in and they're really flattering i can also wear these with a skirt which boots and skirts and me don't mix very well i have very short legs so it kind of cuts me off in the wrong place but these look fine with a skirt so they are my dream boots and i'm going to put these away for like next year just in case anything happens to my beloved pair that I'm wearing at the moment and for £18 you really can't go wrong so <laughs> as I said you really can't go wrong and yeah you need a pair so guys that is my haul finished I hope you enjoyed that and let me know if there's any other videos you want to see soon and of course I'll put them on my list. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, they're all at Tiny Twist and I also have a fashion blog which is tinytwist.com so make sure you check that out as well. Have a lovely week guys and as always I'll see you next week for another video. Bye! You alright mum? <laughs>